October of 2019, Vortex closed for good. And then in 2020, the park opened. So, and then we noticed that it left behind a huge plot of land. So that makes us wonder, what are they going to replace Vortex with? Today, I'm going to be going over all these all the options out there. And at the end of the video, I'll give my final prediction in the year it'll come. So let's get into it. Our first option is a mock multi-launch coaster that uses the terrain in the style of Helix at Lisiburg. What's so good about Helix is that it uses the terrain very well, and Vortex had used very had a, the Vortex plot of land has a very wild terrain. So I think something like this, using the terrain to its advantage, would make for one heck of a ride. Plus, Cedar Fair has worked with Mock with the addition of Copperhead Strike at Carowinds. So it's definitely not out of the realm of possibility that we'll see something that we'll see a mock launch come to Kings Island. It, it is a realistic uh, option for Cedar Fair to add to a park like Kings Island. So uh, for this for this ride, I think the station would go um, either where either back in Rivertown by the Beast Station, or they could have it start where Vortex Station is. It's, that will depend on if they make it part of Rivertown, they'll have like a Rivertown style theme. But if they put it in Coney Mall, I think they'll have some sort of like car slash hot rod theme to it to make it fit kind of with the antique cars and the jukebox diner right by it. So that there, that's an option, a mock multi-launch coaster. Our next option is a B&M dive coaster. We can shown here is Canada's Wonderland Yukon Striker. And before they announced Vortex closure, I actually thought if they were to remove Vortex, that a dive coaster would be a really good option. However, a dive coaster is not my first option because I find them one trick ponies. But, I, but that plot of land being in the middle of the park with the midway right next to it definitely provides for an opportunity for a coaster, for like a show coaster that the, that the guests can just sit back and watch. That's kind of how it was with Vortex and dive coasters are kind of like that, especially with the GP, about especially with that first um, drop where it holds you over the drop for about five seconds. So definitely something like that is a possibility. To put there, have the drop facing uh, the midway where it can, uh, where people can sit back and watch the drop. All right, our next option is a ground up RMC topper track coaster or hybrid coaster. Uh, shown here is Outlaw Run at Silver Dollar City, and something like this would be a, a good option for for this park because Cedar Fair has worked with RMC, and there's I don't believe the people who say Cedar Fair is done with RMC. I think we should see something uh, from RMC in the future. However, I think this would be better in the Bats plot of land instead of the Vortex plot of land because of the terrain and the Bats plot of land is much better. Our next option is a Gerslauer Infinity Coaster, something like Hang Time at Knott's Berry Farm. Um, Knott's Berry Farm's Hang Time, I heard, was a huge success and would be a perfect option for this park and you can't have uh, build a new infinity coaster and not have the awesome lighting package included so if they put this in coney mall they i think they should do something they should definitely have that lighting package because it would definitely make the area pop and and make coney mall at night uh of the place to be but they could also make it part of rivertown and have it like a mining theme that would be something cool and it would definitely be a good option, especially since we're lacking inversions. Next, we have a B&M wing coaster. And the Cedar Fair has only added one wing coaster in the chain, and that is Gatekeeper at Cedar Point. Um, and um, in 2013. So I don't know if they'll add a wing coaster or not. I think a wing coaster would be a fine fit, but the thing is, I find these rides kind of forceless, um, and they're not really... The greatest rides, um, it would work, but I think a wing coaster would be better towards the front of the park or in Area 72. I don't think uh, a wing coaster would fit the best in that plot of land. However, I wouldn't rule out the possibility of a B&M wing coaster coming to the park. It would be a fine fit, and they're fun to look at and watch, and riding they're fun. However, a B&M wing coaster, I don't see it being the most likely option. Um, but is there another option besides a coaster? 
yeah, I think there might be. I think the another option is not a coaster at all, but some sort of interactive attraction like Forbidden Frontier at Cedar Point. Like Forbidden Frontier, I heard was a huge success with Cedar Point, and it's a very interactive attraction and gives people um, a lot more stuff to do and like something more with for more families to do. And plus, um, not everything has to be a coaster. I, I I think something like this with Kings Island being more of a family park, I think would be option and would be a very good investment. And plus, um, these aren't that. It, they aren't the most expensive out there. Um, they're not, uh, like, don't cost as much as, let's say, a new uh, B&M or Mock Coaster does. And plus, Cedar Fair has stated that they'll be doing more interactive uh, I interactive uh, experiences rather than large investments. So I think, think something like this would be an excellent um, fit at the park. But if it's not in the Vortex plot of land, I do expect to see this within the next 5 to 10 years at Kings Island. There are other options they could do something like this at, but I wouldn't rule it out um, for this to end up going on at least part of the Vortex plot of land to use some of the space um, and then have, and then maybe use the remainder of the space for a new attraction in the future. So that is all my predictions for... For what could replace Vortex down the road. Now before I get my final prediction. Let me say that I in no way expect a coaster in the next couple years. Especially since we have to. Cedar Fair has to recover from COVID-19. And I don't expect to see any new coasters. For at least the next few years. At Kings Island. Because we just opened Orion in 2020. And we have to recover from the COVID-19 pandemic. So I don't expect any new coaster. Um, to come uh, to the. To, or this um, plot of land to be used anytime soon. Um, I think we'll. Um, I think we should expect them to do some focusing more on families and later on, and then maybe add a new coaster in the next few years. But just um, COVID needs to die down first um, before we can talk about any investment. So the final prediction I have, I'm gonna go with the Gerslauer Infinity Coaster. <laughs> I think my prediction is that it will go it be part of Rivertown and it'll be themed to a mining company and make it more like a mine ride. Think of Mystery Mine at uh, Dollywood, but on a larger scale. So for the final year, I predict it to come in the year 2025. That is five years since Orion out of work. So I'll see you guys later.